for a massive crowd. Creeds Glasgow City and Hibs for Scottish Cup final day at Ainsley Park on this Remembrance Sunday. A great crowd, hopefully for a great occasion on the pitch. We're looking forward to this one and there's been some epic encounters this season including a couple of three all draws in the league and there was a close run contest which went to extra time in the League Cup final earlier on in the season. Let's look at the team news then for Glasgow City, captain by Leon Ross. Well, it's a side boasting loads of goals, 131 in all competitions. Claire Shine scored five last week to close things up with uh, Abby Grant, who was uh, up there as leader of the pack for a long time. Well clear, but Shine has drawn things close. Plenty of depth in the bench, likes of Susan Fairley, Julie Fleeting and Sarah Crilly. For Hibs, well, Abigail Harrison has been a real threat this season, a side captain by Joel Murray and goals from likes of Tweedy in there as well. Chloe Arthur scored a stand goal in the semi-final. It is a team full of confidence after a strong season looking to win silverware. And then there's some Remembrance Sunday. Let's have a Remembrance Minute. City do have it in a reasonably promising position. Leon Ross, as usual, with a set piece duty. Mug captaincy, and she takes it quickly for Hayley Lauder. Ripped in there. Owen. Clear shine, caught everyone in the way. Ross. Might fall for Lauder. And around the box, Shine trying to get a foot in there too, Cuthbert. Fizzing that cross there, Shine! And she had a bit of time there in the box. But easily scooped up by Jenna Fife. Cuthbert long for Shine. Cuthbert again, been lively this first half. Lauder. Oh, there goes for goal. Oh, and it's off the post. It's not going to fall kindly. Jenna Fife was beaten. But she'll be thanking that left post. Again, plenty of those purple jerseys forwards. Oh, it's went all the way across. Here's Hunter. And it's just skipped off course, but into Alexander's hands. Going to fall kindly for Shine, and she's found it in, and there is the opportunity as it go. And a sloppy bit of defending. That's been one of those first halves where the weather has been the winner. But City have the advantage through Clear Shine. Just over two and a half minutes left in this first period, and six goals in a week isn't bad at all. 15 now in all competitions for the season, one behind Ami Grant. And it's City with advantage in the cup final. Absolutely to get off front foot to reply straight away. Oh, there is Tweedy! Flag up there, and that really was almost instant reply. Alexander saved it anyhow. Back to Arthur. To try to wriggle it round. Owen Harrison in the mix and snapshot finds Alexander's hands. Cuthbert. Love. Closely forward for Fairley. Cuthbert, Aaron Cuthbert, smashes that crossbar and he's got a belter against Hibbs, Star Rictor and Roxburn to all but seal the title and almost could have put a big gap between the two sides in the cup final. On it to take. Had to try to get in there in a clash. Oh, 
bit nasty and the referee stopped it straight away. Making way. I'm not good when you're on the stretch. A few minutes delay. Much for Shine Murray slides in now. Sullivan trying to break through. Cuthbert. Cuthbert seizing the space. Is seizing the space and. Fife with acrobatic stop. Just kept going round with Cuthbert. You kind of just thought if the space was still there, she was going to have a go at that. Uh, a very decent effort at that. Cuthbert forward and Shine could be through here. Controls of the head. Shine! Devastating! Two goals for Claire Shine, and that will wrap things up. Another treble is on the cards. And she joins, unfortunately, Abby Granny went off with 16 in all competitions. And, but even more impressive that she only joined in May. She's done it in the cup final twice in the afternoon in a terrible day weather-wise. Two bits of magic Claire Shine has provided. It's been swiped and Shine could profit here. Claire shines through. Hattrick beckons. And Hattrick is taken. And there will be the top goal scorer for Glasgow City this season. 17 goals, eight in two games, five last week, three this afternoon. And that wraps everything up. And she's pounced three times. And that is another domestic treble on the card as well. <laughs> and it's over, and it's the fourth domestic treble for Glasgow City in a season where they've been pushed to the limits in the SWPL by Hibs in the Premier League Cup. And they had a tough day battling Hibs and the weather. But it's no trophies for Hibs, but I'm sure many people in Scottish football are hoping that they will be the challenge again next season the Metzley and the Cup competitions, but in a game which was a bit at times, but a, a difficult day at the office because of the terrible rain and winds around the place. But three goals from Clare Shine to take herself to the top of the city goal scoring charts. One so I know with Abby Grant going off injured, but just before half time, Shine got things going, and then two goals late on to seal everything up. And she, quite rightly, is the player of the match. Lads of City are the winners of the Scottish Cup 2015. The celebrations are about to begin. The trophy about to be given to the captain. The champagne's out already before the cup is in Leon Ross's hands, but it's a treble once again. An amazing story. Glad they roll on. And Scott Booth, of course, taking over. And the success just keeps on rolling from this club. Glasgow City, Scottish Cup champions for 2015.